Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In this lesson, let us understand what is K-rated transformer. K-rated transformer is different from standard transformer because standard transformer is not designed to handle high harmonic currents, which in turn produces uh, high heat. So that uh, normal transformer fails to handle these kinds of nonlinear loads. So then what is K-rated transformer? K-rated transformer are the transformer able to handle the heat generated by harmonic currents or nonlinear loads. So how it is manufactured? K-rated transformer manufactured with a heavier gauge of copper and a double size neutral conductor and also higher magnetic to resistive properties than a standard transformer so that this can withstand harmonic currents which are produced by nonlinear loads. Will K rated transformer mitigate harmonics? Obviously the answer is no. K rated transformer not mitigating the harmonics but it can withstand the heat generated by harmonics. I will build a simple model to demonstrate a K rated transformer. As usual, let's go for auto build. Make it as 11 kV. Let's take a grid. One bus cable bus transformer and again uh, some static load uh, before that bus and static load so on a power grid go to rating page already it is in 11 now make it as 14 and 40 that's it here go to cable uh, we want to measure current harmonics here make a short length of cable then I select any one uh, three core cable let's go for 240 mm square that's it here so this is 11 bore I'll go for 0.433 5 MVA transformer Impedance take typical value grounding delta star as usual and then this is 0.415 that's it uh, this is 5 MVA transformer you go for the load of uh, 415 kb 4.8 MVA. Let me take down some 90% power factor. Okay, first let me check load flow whether it is properly uh, working or not. It is working here. Right, it is uh, marginally close value. Look at the current here 260.6. The transformer. Uh, uh, rating page you can see 262.4 so close to 100% load that is what uh, this pink is expressing so no issues now let me go to uh, that I have to plot here so plot uh, all buses and cables even a transformers now run harmonic load flow as you can see that everywhere zero THG this is because of no harmonics added or injected in any part of the systems also you can see nothing is overloaded now I am going to create C copy and move from dumpster so same system uh, now let me inject uh, 
harmonics here on the second case go to library let me pick power and trial uh, okay so you could see there are uh, harmonics All right now let me run load flow let me see the difference um, in either of the case uh, you can see uh, 260.6 load flow uh, on a transformer primary side taking 260.6 remember here uh, no harmonic injection uh, you can also see this part none no harmonic injection here on load 12 this side we have harmonic injection so even though harmonics injection here it is showing only 260.6 reason is uh, i am running only load flow now let me go for harmonic load flow let's see the difference now uh, see the difference here uh, 260.6 whereas uh, one with harmonic load 266.6 now uh, look at uh, t12 t12 means uh, this transformer this transformer is overloaded why this is overloaded because of presence of harmonics harmonic current injection takes place that increases your total current 260.6 for the non-harmonic load to 266.9 for the harmonic load almost 6.3 amps increases here so this is due to harmonics present in the system so whereas in the previous case even you could have seen on the transformer the transformer is uh, on a rating page you can see 262 is the full load current whereas here 260.6 is maintained but with the harmonic load same uh, you could see same load 4.75 nothing has been changed the current is increases due to this increase in current so look at the transformer t12 both in primary as well as secondary side overloaded okay we are overloading the system by 101.69 so in this scenario we can use uh, k rated transformer now go to this uh, harmonic page here you see k factor k factor you can use any one of this case k1 means normal uh, as like standard transformer k4 means you look at uh, actual full load current of the transformer it is 262 but when we use k factor as 4 is it is it is uh, handling up to 330.1 amps that is 125.8 times of your full load current both in primary as well as secondary you could see here and coming to uh, 9 uh, 144 0.7 percent of your flow current and goes on like this we have a 9 13 20 k factor as 30 and 40 say for example let me go for a k factor of 40 so we, the transformer can handle 308.2 percent of full load current of standard transformer current okay. so this is about k factor so as of now uh, we have only slight overloading let me go for a 4 k factor as 4 let me see uh, now still this transformer is overloaded or uh, that is handled by k4 rated transformer now uh, though it is 266.9 have a look at this alert page alert page uh, showing nothing because the transformer is not overloaded transformer can handle the current of up to 330.9 that is the reason why it is not showing anything so this is all about k rated transformer in case of uh, more update please subscribe my channel thank you